Hello people, in this video we want to look at cancer registration. Okay, so where exactly we are in cancer control, you have primary prevention, secondary prevention and lot of other preventions obviously primordial, tertiary extra. Under secondary prevention, that means the person has got cancer, that is when it is secondary prevention. Under that secondary prevention, you have cancer registration. So now that the person has got cancer, you are going to register it. So that is cancer re registration. So where is it coming under? Under secondary prevention. So first thing you will say is cancer registration is a secondary prevention measure for cancer control. Very good. Look at this now. Cancer registration is a sign qua non. What is this? For any cancer control program. What do you mean by sign qua non? Indispensable essential action. That's it. It was originally a Latin legal term uh, without which it could not be like that. Something which you cannot be without kind of a thing. So this is a Sign qua non means what? Latin for indispensable or essential action. So which is the essential action? Registration of cancer is an essential action for what? For any cancer control program. It provides a base for assessing the magnitude of the pro pro problem. So what are you getting from this? Once you register, you will get the magnitude of the problem. How many people have registered? How much cancer is there? Magnitude of the problem and planning for necessary services. So as usual, what will you do with all the data that you are collecting and you know the magnitude of problem? You will obviously plan for some services, right? So did you understand what cancer registers are? Will you be able to write that word? It is a sign qua non. So how do you actually understand this? Non means not, let's say. So it is not, what did they say? Not dispensable, something like that, right? Something that you cannot do without, okay? So, a uniform minimum data should be registered as per WHO Handbook of Standardized Cancer Registers. See, most secondary prevention, you remember, you have early detection and treatment, right? Early diagnosis and treatment is what secondary prevention is. Except in cancer, they are adding one special thing. Cancer registration, basically, this is under WHO Standardized Cancer Registers, okay? So, WHO says, WHO has a handbook for standardized cancer registers. Okay, WHO has handbook for standardized cancer registers. And in this one they are saying is a minimum data at least you should collect uniformly for everybody. At least collect their age. I am just saying, telling you, I am not sure what it is, but age, what type of cancer, right? So, uh, you have to collect minimum, uniform minimum data you should be collect, you should uh, register as per WHO handbook for standardized cancer registers. So, now let us go to the next technical thing that you will write in your exam. There are two types of registers, hospital based registers and population based registers. So, what and all you have? Hospital based registries and population based registries. So, hospital based means what? You will keep lot of uh, cancer people's files here. What will it include? All inpatient patient and outpatient treated. So, you will know in this particular hospital how many inpatients, how many outpatients treated for cancer. What is the advantage of uh, hospital based registries? Guys, can you think of hospital based registries? What the advantages are? The advantage is that um, you will be able to evaluate the diagnostic and treatment programs. What diagnosis did they do? What treatment did they give? What is the disadvantage of uh, a hospital based registry? Basically, in epidemiological study, it has limited use because you have only very few files, right? Very few records you will have in a hospital. That's it. Now, let's move on to uh, population based registers. Okay. Now, population based registries, so many, so much, so many people's information you will have. So, what is it? It covers complete cancer situation in a geographic area. Right, complete cancer situation in the geographic area you will come to know. With, with uh, you know, even even if the population is like two to seven million, you will know the information they are saying. Uh, so it will give you incidence. It will give you what? Incidence rate. It will give you. Okay. Then it's a useful tool for epi initiating epidemiological enquiries into cause of cancer. Why is the cancer happening? So epidemiological studies you can do here. Cause. Time trends, surveillance, plan, evaluate the operational activities, all that you can do. Then what is the disadvantage here? Disadvantage is too much information, too large population, 
right now what is the, what did you uh, tell about hospital hospital advantage is you will only get diagnostic diagnostic and treatment information you will get of what a few people right disadvantage you cannot obviously apply epidemiological studies here can't use for epidemiology right but obviously if you collect all the hospitals information probably that will help in epidemiology right only one hospitals five files can you take and do epidemiology no so basically you will need population based registries to do epidemiological studies and you will get incidents from whom from the population based registers N now let's read the information from textbook for hospital based registry hospital based registries the hospital based registry includes all patients treated by a particular institution whether in patient or out patient registries should collect the uniform minimum set of data recommended in the who handbook for standardized cancer registries registers the so minimum uniform information you should collect so what is it in patient or out patient the minimum uniform information you have to collect according to who what is that population who handbook of standardized cancer registers so will you be able to write this in the exam okay so according to who handbook of standardized cancer registers you will have to collect minimum uniform information for in patients and out patients both okay if there is a long term follow up of patients hospital based registers can be of considerable value in the evaluation of diagnostic and treatment programs so if there is a long patient who's coming to you for years obviously you will have all the information of diagnosis and treatment right since hospital population is always a selected population the use of these registries in epidemiology is limited that we also understand because with these five files what you will do right oh uh, you cannot decide the plan for the whole population now coming to population based registries guys let us see what the textbook says a right step is to set up a hospital based cancer registry yes you will this is the right setup yes you will do this but then you will have to take all this information and extend the same to population based cancer registry okay so what are they saying here extend the hospital based registries and make the population based register okay the aim here what is the aim aim of what guys focus guys we are looking at population based registries the aim is to cover complete cancer situation in a geographical area so geographical area you will get complete situation right so you will get the incidence rate the optimum size of base population for a population based cancer registry so you have to mention this so population size should be 2 to 7 million that is 20 lakhs to 70 lakh isn't that like population of bangalore what is the population of bangalore 2011 why god that's very very old now it must be more than a more than double of this well anyways for that much geographical area so you can say for a city like a, a metropolitan city you can have one population based register yes size of the population 2 to 7 million the data from such registries alone can provide the incidence rate yes you will get the incidence rate for cancer and it will serve as a useful tool for initiating epidemiological inquiries right for cause what and all you find out cause then surveillance of time trends yes planning and evaluation of operational activities okay what is the disadvantage too large a population okay so we are done with this uh, topic cancer registration take a recap guys cancer registration is basically uh, something that is indispensable in the Uh, cancer control program basically they are using this word sine qua non sine qua non is latin for indispensable so this is a very important tool in the cancer control basically in cancer control you have lot of preventions and the secondary prevention that means once a person has got cancer 
uh, it is better to register uniformly some minimum information about the person. So you, you have cancer registration that is um, uh, uh, WHO has specified this under the WHO handbook for standardized cancer registers. All these words should come out in the exam, remember. Otherwise, secondary prevention is nothing but early detection and treatment. Here, there is an extra step here where you register, right? And um, a cancer registration can be at a hospital level. And once the hospital records are put together, you will get something called as a population-based register. Hospital-based registers are, this is the right setup they are saying. Uh, whether inpatient or outpatient, minimum information you should collect according to the WHO handbook of standardized cancer registers. The advantage is that you will have the diagnosis information and the treatment information and uh, disadvantage is that you cannot use it for epidemiology as such. But when it comes to population based registries, you can extend all this hospital information that you collected in a particular geographical area and you can make this population based registries where you will have more information. Uh, for a particular geographical area, like uh, you can say this population size can be 2 to 7 million, you can get the complete situation, you can get the incidence rate and hence you can do epidemiological studies, you can find out why it is happening, the causes, you can do surveillance, you can do planning and you can also look at the activities, operational activities. The disadvantage is here, uh, the population size will be very large. Okay, so we are done with this topic, cancer registration, bye bye. Look at this National Cancer Registry Program of India, guys. NCDIR, India. National Cancer, what is D? Directory India looks like, okay. So, what are they showing here? Some reports they are showing here based on the mapping patterns of cancer. So, you can look at cancer in population based cancer registries so there are some cancer registries here so what is what is pbcr guys yes population based cancer registries cancer incidence in all districts all sites figure shows some where is this report page go here selected districts how can I choose Karnataka? Karnataka, let's choose Bangalore. Bangalore. Let us look at Bangalore. This is Bangalore rural. How, what is the area? What is the male, female density persons per kilometer? Square kilometer, is it? So you can select the year. Leading sites of cancer. Select the year. Select the gender. Number of incident cancers by five year age group. So many information you can get. Let's just pull out something. Lip cancer, is it? Tongue, mouth, oropharynx, hypopharynx, esophagus, larynx, lung, bladder. Oh, this is really nice. If you can sit and get all this information, that's really nice, right? Are you interested in Bangalore Urban? Let's look at Bangalore Urban. Insufficient data for analysis. Let's focus on our capital. Where is the capital? It takes me so long to get the capital. Here? Is that the one? Yeah, Delhi. In Delhi, let us look at anything, okay? Insufficient data. Guys, look, there's not much information, guys, but at least some information is there, which is nice, right? So, at least whatever we have studied, they seem to be implementing, which is nice. So, bye-bye. In India, guys, the cancers which are very uh, high in number are breast cancer and lip oral cavity cancer, okay? So basically highest is breast cancer in India. In men it is more of lip and oral cancer probably because of tobacco, cigarette etc. And obviously in females it will be uh, highest is breast cancer. Highest prevalence like we told you incidence also breast cancer, prevalence also bre best breast cancer. Highest mortality also is because of breast cancer guys. So that is why the focus is so much on breast cancer right. Guys, in the WHO, what you have is this global cancer, globo can they are calling it as. What are they calling it as? Globo can. Like can for cancer, right? Globo can is what they are saying. And these people are showing here cancer registry resources. Look at this. Cancer registry resources is there here. Right? They have so many resources. Cancer registration. have a book is it books 
What is this cancer today, cancer tomorrow, cancer over time, cancer causes survival stories? Let's look at what does it mean by tomorrow? Cancer tomorrow. Europe, America, okay, leave this. So they are saying there will be more people with cancer, okay. What is this cancer today? Cancer today, we are saying, okay, there are some maps, etc. Let us look at cancer causes then. Causes interactive tool for analyzing and visualizing data on the estimated global burden attributed to specific causes of cancer. Obesity, infections, UV radiations. Why obesity? Infections, radiation. Infection, okay, we understand human papilloma virus, uh, all those can lead to um, cancer. UV radiation, yes, can cause cancer. Obesity, interesting. What is this obesity doing here, guys? Cancer attributable to obesity. Interesting, right? So they're giving a lot of options. Do you want to watch it as a pie chart or a bar chart? Let's see a bar chart, the simplest one here. So this is just giving you some numbers. Breast, postmenopausal, corpus uteri, colon, kidney, gallbladder, pancreas, rectum, esophageal, adenocarcinoma, ovary. So these are cancer cases attributable to excess body mass index wow this is just too much right now all the cancer registration makes sense in our head right okay guys bye bye one last time